Hi, I'm your host, Pastor Kenny Springer, Senior Pastor of New Beginnings Church in McAllister, Oklahoma, and President and Founder of the Flock Motorcycle Ministry. And normally we're on the motorcycles, but today I'm out in the, in the woods, out in the, the forest and the mountains, and uh, we're just enjoying the day. And I want to bring to you a word that I began just uh, uh, on the last broadcast. I would like to, to speak more on it, and it's how to get naked in the presence of God. You say, what do you mean how to get naked in the presence of God? Well, if you read the Bible in Genesis, you'll find that that's how God designed it in the beginning. God wanted us to be exposed and to, to have no shame. See, what being naked really means is I'm not ashamed. Now, we know that the Bible isn't teaching us to go without clothing now. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I would be a little ashamed of myself, and uh, I wouldn't want anyone to see that because it would be an embarrassment to me. But, you know, in God, there is no shame. When he created Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, he created them without clothing. They were naked before God, and the Bible says, and they were not ashamed. You say, how in the world can someone be naked out in the public or even in the beauty of the, the woods, the forest? How can someone be naked and not be ashamed? Well, it's because there was no sin. There was nothing for them to be ashamed of. There was no embarrassment. There was nothing of the past that, or, or present that caused them to, to want to hide themselves. See, what shame does in our lives is it, wants, it causes us to want to cover ourselves, to hide. When we're ashamed of something, we try to hide it. You know, if you've ever done anything in your life that you're ashamed of, you hope that nobody finds out. Even if you're a Christian and you're, you're a born-again believer and you're in the house of God right now, watching this or in your home. You know, there are certain things in our lives, even if it's in our past and been forgiven, we pray to God that no one ever finds out about because it was so shameful. It was so embarrassing. It was so revealing of who we were or what we were thinking at the time. And so we try to cover it. That's what happened in the Garden of Eden. When Adam and Eve sinned against God by taking of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, it says that the eyes of their understanding were opened and they knew that they were naked and immediately they ran into the forest and they took fig leaves and they sewed fig leaves together to cover their nakedness. The Bible says that God came down in the cool of the evening and he called out to Adam and said, where are you? And he cried out and said, I'm hiding. He said, why are you hiding? He said, because I was naked. And God said, who told you that you were naked? See, whenever sin enters into our lives, instantly shame comes with it. Anytime that we sin, shame comes into our lives. This is why God wants us to be sinless. And the, and the, the, the more that sin is removed from us, the freer you are, the, the, the more open that you are, the more exposed you are to the world. Again, this is why in the Gospels, the Apostle, or not the Gospel, but the New Testament, the Apostle said this, I am not ashamed of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, I don't hide anything. I'm not ashamed that I believe in Jesus. I'm not ashamed that I teach in Jesus. I'm not ashamed that I follow Jesus. He said, I'm not ashamed of anything. I stand before all of you opened and exposed in my faith because there is no shame. See, right now, there's so much shame in the body of Christ that the church is covered up. The world doesn't even know who we are. They might know that you, you possibly go to church. They see you get in your car and go uh, somewhere on Sunday mornings all dressed and, and uh, outfitted with your family. But you know, because of shame, we don't minister like we should. We don't share like we should. We don't walk into our offices or our businesses and, and be bold about what happened in the house of God or what we're praying and seeing the answers to. Shame causes us to cover up. Maybe you're there watching today and something has happened in your life and maybe you've gone through a divorce and it's shameful. Maybe you've, you've, you've lost your home in the recession and uh, they foreclosed and, and you, it's an embarrassment to you. Listen, you shouldn't be embarrassed about those things. Life happens, but the devil would love to come and accuse you of being without faith or unholy or in sin and try to place shame on you. 
Because when shame comes, he knows that you'll cover yourself up. You won't expose your faith any longer. You'll hide it. And if you hide your faith, then you can't walk in your faith. And so what the devil would love to do is to shame you and embarrass you and ridicule you and accuse you just so that you'd cover up. The Bible says that Adam and Eve sewed fig leaves together to hide their nakedness. Listen, God doesn't want you to hide. God wants you to shine. You might have remembered a song from when you were a child that says, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to expose this light. I'm going to reveal myself to the world. You know, we're called to be a, a city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. We're not to, to, to hide behind different things. You know, a lot of the reasons that I believe that Christians have so much trouble sharing their faith is because they remember who they were. A few years back, there was a saying that, that people would, uh, would say to people that came up and began to do better in their life. And they say, you forgot who you were. Or I'm keeping it real. Meaning, that, you know, I, I'm not changing. I remember this. I remember that. I, I'm all who I've always been. You know, if you've come to Christ, you're not who you were. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That means everything that you did in your life previously, before Christ, that would cause embarrassment. It's been removed. It's forgiven. It's forgotten in God. Therefore, you are to live free now. See, I don't have to live ashamed of what I used to do. Even though if I chose to, I could be because it was so bad. The things I did against God, the things I did against my own body, the things I did against uh, society, the, the sin that I was in, of course it was shameful. In cor of course I'd be embarrassed of it now. But because of the blood of Jesus, it's been removed. And so now I can, I can say I'm free. I feel so light. And I'm not ashamed to say that, yes, I was a sinner, but praise God, now I'm a believer. I'm forgiven and I'm new. You know, you may have come from an abusive past. Maybe you were taken advantage of sexually as a child. Maybe you've been so wounded by that that you've gone from partner to partner to partner to partner to from one escapade to the next and you've lost count of how many things and how many people you've been with in your life. And, you know, you might be saying, I'm so embarrassed by that. You know, if you come to Christ, all of that's forgiven. Sure, people might remember that, but, you know, God doesn't. And if God doesn't remember it, then what does it matter if anyone else does? If he's forgiven you, then be free in Jesus' name. God is on your side today to help you, to bless you, and to cause you to be naked in front of him, completely exposed. I want to pray with you today. Maybe you're feeling ashamed of something in your life. Maybe you feel ashamed of your past or maybe something that's going on right now. If that's you and you say, you know, I want to be free from this. I want the, the chains and the, the bonds of shame and embarrassment to be gone from my life. I want to be free. I want to be exposed before God. If that's you, then pray this with me. Say, Father, I thank you for Jesus. I believe in him. He has come to set me free. And right now I accept the very sacrifice of his blood. I ask you to remove all embarrassment and shame from my life. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you prayed that with me, then God bless you. And I pray that you would begin to see yourself in a brand new light. Your past is in the past. It's forgiven. Now get up and be like the apostles and say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And let your light shine. Praise God if you prayed with me. I'm so happy for you. Why don't you contact us? Use the information at the bottom of your screen. Let us know what God's doing in your life. If you have any prayer requests or anything that you'd like to share with this ministry, then give us a call or email us. Look us up on the web. Get in contact with us. We're here for you. We want to help. We want to give you the word of God. God bless you. And until next time, remember, the Lord is on your side. I'm your host, Kenny Springer. We'll see you again next time. God bless.